Hello everybody and welcome to my Sailor Moon world. I have been wanting to do this video for such a long time. I can't believe I finally did it. So I'm very happy that you guys are joining me today to learn all about Sailor Moon World merchandise. Before the 20th anniversary, there was the 10th anniversary and that is what Sailor Moon World is. So let's jump right into the basics. Sailor Moon World was a line of merchandise in Japan that started in 1999 and went all the way to 2003. It was marketed towards children, so that means things like dolls, plushies, toys, and coloring books were made. Since it started in the early 2000s, they completely redesigned the whole Sailor Moon merchandise line. I know a lot of you distinctively remember how the 90s Sailor Moon toys were. Sailor Moon World took it and flipped it all around. I mean, quite literally. I mean, when you look at Sailor Moon World merch, look how colorful it is. You can tell right off the bat, this is not 90s. It was also refreshing that not only did the colors change, but they did brand new art for Sailor Moon World as well. A lot of the characters were redrawn specifically for this line of merchandise. Sailor Moon and her pals got a makeover. Sailor Moon World merchandise is easily spotted, not only because it's pretty unique with their rainbow coloring, but also because it has two very distinctive logos on the products. The first one that was debuted is this one that has yellow text, and then the one that they used later was all shiny gold. So when you're browsing Sailor Moon products online secondhand, you can always tell if it's Sailor Moon World or not. It's gonna have either of those logos right on it. So I get asked all the time, why Sailor Moon World? Why did you choose that as your collection focus? And the answer is actually really simple. I fell in love with the Sailor Moon colors and the whole new fresh look that the Sailor Moon 10th anniversary brought. And it was items that I didn't grow up with. So I don't know, it kind of brought back the inner child in me again. And it just makes me so happy. <laughs> and I also appreciate just how consistent the merchandise was in this line. Even the tiniest of things were quality. From little tiny hair barrettes all the way to a 12 inch doll. They all were great quality. So the way this video is going to work, I'm going to kind of go through and show you guys each category of Sailor Moon World merchandise that I have. And I'm going to lay it out on this table. I'm not going to be able to do anything in depth because this video would just go on and on forever. So I can always do more videos if you guys are interested about anything Sailor Moon World that you guys may have questions on. Let me know down there in the comments if you would like more information or request another video on any of these items. I would be more than happy to do that. Holy crap you guys. I'm buried in it. And also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more content because if you guys have questions about Sailor Moon World and I need to make another Sailor Moon World video, I want you guys to see that notification so you can see my new videos. Anytime during this video, if you guys would give this video a thumbs up, I would absolutely love it. Sailor Moon World puppet would love it too. Oh yeah, they made Sailor Moon World hand puppets. Teeny go hot thing, oh I should count. Oh, she's kind of creepy. I mean, her eyes are sweet, but this this is not doing it for me. Ow! So let's go ahead and dive into some of the Sailor Moon World merchandise categories that I want to show you guys. So these little tins were made in 2001 by a company called Mori Naga. Here's the company right here. Each tin contained a couple of these figures at random and they are really cute. I have the complete set of them here that I wanna show you. They also made these larger tins as well. 
here is the back of them. So inside the bigger tins, you could also get these figures. And it also came with gum, I believe. And here is the sealed pack of gum. Tuxedo mask. I removed the figures already. So I want to verify that these are actually gum. So I opened up one of the smaller tins, which had a couple of pieces of this candy or gum inside. And I noticed this one had a little tear at the top. So let's go ahead and open this and find out what's inside. What is this? This is from 2001, guys. So, oh, it's like... I'm gonna smell it, hold up. So I demolished it, I smelled it, I even licked it, I ain't gonna lie. And it smells fruity, and I, I don't know if it was a piece of candy that just melted or just disintegrated inside of the package or if it was gum. But there you have it, that's what we're inside the tins. Sailor Moon World also reissued some of the wands and compacts. They were slightly redesigned for the Sailor Moon World toy line. One of the nicest Sailor Moon World sets to collect are the dishes. These are ceramic dishes that are beautifully made. The detail in them, as you can see, the light hitting the line strokes is beautiful. These are dishwasher safe. This one still has the original retail sticker on it, less than $5. The teacup is probably my favorite out of the set. So these are a set of water guns. They came randomly packaged in this box and you could have dunked them in water and they squirt water out of their brooches. They're really adorable. These candy toys were really fun to collect. They retailed 200 yen each at the time of release. They released figures and wands and compacts. So I'm going to show you guys why they call these candy toys. Back when I started collecting these, that kind of was the nickname that was given to these because they came packaged with candy. So this one's been opened, so I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what to expect. So inside the box, this is what you would pull out. This is a brand new one, so I'm not gonna assemble it, but you basically would have to assemble this. They're just snap together plastic pieces. And then also inside is a little packet of candy. And that's why they're called candy toys. The earliest to Sailor Moon World candy toy was made in the year 2000. And the latest ones were made in 2003. Something that I'm really proud of owning is this retail box of the candy toy figures from 2001. This is something that you would see on the shelves at Japanese stores in 2001. And it's just kind of cool to see that something like this still exists. My goal as a collector is to preserve this kind of stuff. So we can kind of document the Sailor Moon items and where they came from. These are all of my coloring books, paper dolls, calendars, sketchbooks, and plain notepads. There are so many of these in existence and I know I'm missing a few. The sketchbooks are super nice and some of my favorite Sailor Moon World items, they have different images throughout the seasons. So here are my standard size coloring books and paper doll books. Now I do wrap them all in plastic to keep them from yellowing because they are paper. So I won't flip through them today. However, the images inside are really cool and I think it would be worth it to make a video of just me flipping through these. So if that's of interest to anybody, let me know in the comments and I totally will do a video of flipping through all of these if you guys want because the images are really unique, especially the paper dolls. I think you guys would really like those, but I don't have time to do that in this video. I've also managed to collect the retail box of these mini coloring books. 
This calendar from 2002 features Sailor Moon World art because that was the merchandise line at the time. So naturally I had to buy this and collect it and here are the Sailor Moon stickers. If I had to pick one Sailor Moon World item that was just out there, it would be this one. This is a Sailor Moon World cash register and it was a Toys R Us exclusive. So my Sailor Moon World Bento collection is almost complete. I am missing just a few more pieces. This set right here is super rare. It also comes with a cup, kind of like one of these that I don't have. I just have the chopstick set and the bento box. The two tier bento boxes are really cool. It has two compartments. Microwave is okay, very important. These are so pretty. These are wooden chopsticks, and this is the only wooden chopstick set out of all of the bento items. Look at the age showing on this mofo. It is like sun damaged and dirty, but it's really cool. It's a complete bento lunch set. So have you guys heard of the Sailor Moon Betty Spaghettis? Well, here they are. I think they're actually kind of cute. The faces are really well done. I love the eye stickers that they did and the paint job is super crisp. They did brand new art for the boxes as well. I'm so in love with their faces. So adorable. Their earrings are whack though. Love that art. So here's the back of the box of Sailor Moons showing her additional outfit that they provide you with. Okay, story time. So back, I wanna say around 2007 to maybe 2011, these were very, very common, super common even. So common that I actually put collecting these on the back burner because they were just so easy to find. So I was just like, I'll collect them later. They're, they're readily available. I can collect them later. I can focus on more of the rarer stuff. And now they are super rare. And it just blows my mind that at the time they were really, really common and now they're not. So these poster calendars are super cool. They have little hooks that you hang them up on your wall with, and then they are a 12 month calendar that you can flip through, and then they have images per month. I won't be flipping through these today, but let me know if you guys are interested to see what images are inside all three of these calendars, and I will make another video. This is probably one of my coolest Sailor Moon World pieces I own. It is a huge store banner. So Sailor Moon World merchandise is mostly known for their line of dolls because these dolls are highly collectible and sought after. They made 12 inch dolls here in the back and then the rest of them are mini dolls that are about six inches tall. The Sailor Moon World six inch mini collection dolls are adorable. All of the senshi were made, including Chibiusa, Super Sailor Chibi Moon, and the outer senshi. Now, it's interesting to note that Sailor Saturn had two different releases. They accidentally released Sailor Saturn with Sailor Pluto's boots. As you can see, here's Sailor Pluto next to her. They have the exact same boots. Bondi quickly fixed the error in the same year and released Sailor Saturn with her correct boots. The 12 inch DX Sailor Moon collection set is one of the most rarest and hardest to come by. However, it has one of the worst defects out of all of them. The type of hair that they put on Sailor Mars falls out for some reason. Almost every set that I've come across has a balding Sailor Mars and mine is no different. Her hair is absolutely falling out. It's really sad to see and some of her hair I believe is even down there. Oh yeah, there it is down there, see? Oh, girl. It's really sad for me to report this because I know this doll set a lot of people want and it's on their wish list. 
and I cannot guarantee that the one that you will get will have a perfect Sailor Mars because I have rarely come across one. And if it is perfect now, there's no guarantee later on that it won't fall out later. There's also reports of it happening to Sailor Jupiter. However, mine doesn't look to be that bad. So my collector tip for those people out there searching for this doll set, if you do find one from a seller, please be sure to ask and maybe even request additional photos of Sailor Mars and Sailor Jupiter to see what condition their hair is in and see if you're okay with what it is. I wanted to make sure I pointed that out because this doll set is so sought after and I don't want anybody being upset when it comes in the mail and Sailor Mars needs Rogaine. In the same year that the DX collection was released in 1999, they also released a single Eternal Sailor Moon 12 inch doll. This doll had incorrect artwork and included an incorrect card. Hmm, who can spot what's wrong with this image? In 2002, Bondi re-released the 12-inch Eternal Sailor Moon doll with correct artwork. One thing that is pretty cool to see is this Toy Fair image of Sailor Moon World dolls and toys that was shown here. And as we zoom in here, you can see two Sailor Moon World dolls that were not released. It's the Princess Serenity and the Tuxedo Mask doll. This set never got released, but this image exists on the internet so we can see that they almost made it to production. But that's okay, we did get a lot of cool Sailor Moon World dolls during this time. <laughs> So believe it or not, my Sailor Moon World collection is incomplete. I am missing a lot of important pieces in my collection, like a Sailor Moon World bike. I've only seen that freaking bike once on Yahoo Japan auctions, and I didn't have a lot of money at the time, so I couldn't bid on it. So I'm very, very regretful. And don't any of you say that, where the heck are you going to put that bike, Ochi? Where are you going to put it? It ain't going to fit in here. Nobody say that. Okay, can't you tell I'm haunted by missing the Sailor Moon World bike? Seriously. But yeah, the point I was trying to make is I don't have everything yet, so I am continuously still looking for Sailor Moon World merch, just not as religiously as I used to back when I first started collecting Sailor Moon. Because back then, back around 2007, maybe 2011 to 2012, something, somewhere around there, Sailor Moon World merchandise was so easy to find. Like, I can't reiterate that enough. Like, I would go to Yahoo Japan auctions, perform a Sailor Moon search, and I want to say a good chunk of it was Sailor Moon World items. And they were cheap. So that's why I have what I have. Uh, I bought a lot of this stuff when it was super affordable. I mean, I paid only a couple hundred yen for some of these items. It was a great time to be a collector. Can you imagine if you started collecting even before then and got all the 90s Sailor Moon toys for two? Oh, I can melt in thinking about it. So that's really the only reason why I have what I have today. I know I'm talking a lot about the past, like when I started to collect Sailor Moon World merchandise, but it was a whole different collecting time for me. Like we had a different kind of community where we talked and collected and Sailor Moon's 20th anniversary hadn't even started yet. So there wasn't as many collectors back then than there are now. I know on my Instagram, a lot of people talk to me and they say, oh, we, I want to collect Sailor Moon World merchandise, but so hard to find. I feel you. I 100% feel you and understand because the pieces that I'm missing are so freaking hard to find and whenever I do my searches I'm barely seeing any Sailor Moon World merch. Even the merch I already have I'm not seeing so I understand that it's really hard right now and that makes me sad because it kind of seems like now now that I'm talking to other collectors on Instagram and Twitter and my Facebook there is a lot of interest to collect Sailor Moon World items and that touches my heart so so much to hear that. I remember when I first started collecting Sailor Moon World merchandise, I got a lot of people asking me, why are you collecting these things? I mean, they're, they're children's coloring books, children's hair barrettes. Like I got those kind of questions. And now I'm seeing people like, I want to collect it too. And I love you guys. That's so awesome that Sailor Moon World has come back around and there are other collectors out there that want to collect it too. Unless you're after that bike, we're going to have some competition. 
Guys, thanks so much for joining me today and watching this video. I put my heart and soul into it because Sailor Moon World items are my favorite and I'm glad I finally got to share most of my Sailor Moon World items with you guys today. I have been wanting to do that for so long. It's just, it was a lot of work. I have trashed my entire toy room digging out all the Sailor Moon World pieces that I have. I mean, if you could see what I see, you would be ashamed, but proud at the same time because I am very proud of what I've been able to collect over all of these years and now that Sailor Moon World is so hard to find I have kind of created this database and I have preserved Sailor Moon World so new collectors and new fans will get to know what Sailor Moon World was and the vast items that were produced for it. So I'm gonna go for now but I will be making more videos so please be sure to subscribe. Have a good one guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.